Welcome to the Deadly Addictions channel. Hello there. Today I'm going to talk about a TV show called Burn Notice. Burn Notice started in 2007, ran for seven seasons. It is created by Matt Nix, starring Jeffrey Donovan, Gabrielle Anwar, Bruce Campbell, and Sharon Gless. Now from Cagney Lacey. This show is amazing. I really get into the show. I loved it. It came in a weird point of my life, but just was something my, me and my friend would watch all the time. Something I look forward to. I think it's described as a drama, espionage, action show. It had a great format. The visuals were stunning. The attitude, the writing, everything came together well. I love Bruce Campbell. Been a fan since I was a kid. And he shined in this show as a, a friend of the main character. Uh, Ex-Navy SEAL, I believe. So in general, Burn Notice is when an intelligence agency discredits or dismisses an agent. And they do it to him in the field. It messes him up. No money, no anything. He's stuck in Florida. And it gives you that Miami Vice feel that we, you know, when you're in a setting that you know immediately and it just looks great. So that's how the show basically starts. And it's got this great updated almost 18 feel where he's a fall, he's a spy basically who's been burned and he's going to try to figure out who burned him and why and he's got to take jobs little jobs so it's like his mom gets him some customers or you know he hears something from a friend or he goes to an old connection that uh doesn't want nothing to do with him because he's you know tainted in a sense the show works on every level for me it just gives me great enjoyment watching it the performances are amazing you got guest stars and that come on here and there and they really shine you get a good way of pacing the show where you're trying to figure out okay what's it going to do this week and there's a overall plot of how he's going to get the money up to find out who burned him and within the organization so it's you know you need a certain amount of money for this he's got to do some jobs and then they focus in on oh uh you know the, who's this person in the agency that assigned this letter and so on and so forth but it continues for seven seasons and they do it great performances all around just like i said just keep you going the main characters all work so well together. It's a joy to watch on TV. You see it every every now and then when it works. It just really works. The show had seven seasons, and I think they were a little scattered in their um, overall arc because they had certain things going on. So the first season had 12 episodes, then 16, then 16, then 18 and then the last season went down to 13. In between there, they had a special. It was uh, on Sam Axe, which is Bruce Campbell's character. And you see the origin, well, not the origin, but how he left the Navy SEALs and met Michael, I think, the main character, played by Donovan. They have a buddy-buddy relationship. He's got the girlfriend, ex-girlfriend. <laughs> and it's just so fun. It's got a nice way of... Uh, depicting serious stuff but having a light tone but then heavy when it needs to be deep and the time's introspective on the character I'm not sure how it did well I, I think it did pretty good as a you know an overall show that was uh, given some you know respect from the critics uh, not just the fans it won a couple of awards here and there. It's been nominated for certain things. I just can't get enough of the show. I watch it every opportunity I can when it's not me looking for different things to occupy me. 
I like things that fill certain niches, you know, sometimes I'm in the mood for sci-fi and I gotta put on the Battlestar Galactica reimagining and X-Files, Buffy. This is my go-to espionage cop buddy show. It just does it for me in a certain way. Um, I think I did Justified, which would be out already on um, my podcast. That's another cop show that I got into. It doesn't have that buddy element, and although it has its humor, this one focuses it and disperses it between the characters on the show in a different way. So, you know, he's got the mom, who, like I said, is the Cagney and Lacey um, actress, and his best friend who's in Florida, his ex-girlfriend's helping him. And it just makes for some great storytelling, and in a, in a in a grounded way for our times like you're not going to go back and do the three's company routines where you know there's always something going on and someone hears and then they've got to figure it out but you can bring that levity and that kind of awkwardness in these relationships and do it well do it grounded do it current to show the espionage is great he has a narration which is a main part of the show, and I loved it. I thought maybe we'd get old at some point, but it doesn't. So basically what he'll do is the main character, um, Jeffrey Donovan, is that the right name? Uh, yeah, Jeffrey Donovan plays Michael West. And a lot of the setups are him, which is a voiceover, a narration, and he'll go through a part of his life that's leading up to this episode or if he's just in the middle of a a job for somebody he's getting paid he'll describe how he's using the low-end tech and how he went to this local store and bought some things and there's a great uh balance between narration and what's going on on the screen the action and it's hard, I think that's hard to pull off sometimes. And this show does it spectacularly. I cannot recommend it enough. Um, like I said, some of the seasons are a little on the high end. You get 18, 18, but you got 12 in there. And maybe it's their way of uh, figuring out at times when to put certain double episodes in as specials ending the season with a cliffhanger type thing. The show did it all really well. I'll give it lots of praise. Like I said, I do watch it when I can. I'll put it on just to, um, you know, fill that need at the time of a certain genre I'm in the mood for. This show is top notch, I think. Most people will like it. I mean, there are just things people aren't going to like. They're not going to give a chance, but if any of this kind of interests you and uh an agent who spy who's burned in the field gets left in florida beaten up and he's got to put his life together and some of the worst things happen he's got to work with his ex-girlfriend and he's got to visit his mom <laughs> and it's a it is a brother that comes into the to the uh fold in a sense and like I said earlier, you could bring characters in and guest stars, and it just enriches the show, makes it much better instead of the distraction or uh, sometimes the overshadowing of when you see someone, oh, I know that actor, and then it kind of frames it for you where you're already thinking in certain ways. The show does, did it great. They do everything well, and you can't talk enough about the chemistry between the characters, the cinematography the way everything was shot photo you know uh filmed in a sense and some of the shots where you can tell it's accompanied by music that's supposed to invoke a feeling of florida and miami and it's just worked so well with deadpan humor i think people will enjoy it watch burn notice it's one of my favorites take care everybody stay healthy and be well